We started this poly union together as three individuals. We are all heterosexual. He's everything that I look for in a husband. However, they are sister wives. Best friends, sisters, family. <laughs> this accusation that they are brainwashed, we get it often. All the time. <laughs> Someone actually sent a comment yesterday to Jamie saying, listen, Jamie, you are beautiful, but he does not love you. Why don't you just leave? Some people look at it and say, you know, you're exploiting your children. So how did you feel when you first found out about Lacey coming into your life? My name is Kevin Wesley. This is my beautiful wife, Jamie. This is my beautiful wife, Lacey. We call ourselves the Rise Family. Rise and shine, beautiful souls. Mondays and Tuesdays, uh, Jamie and I spend time together. Of course, we obviously we sleep together on those days. Lacey and I spend time together on Wednesday, Thursday. Damn, that's good, it's so light. That's really good. And then from Friday to Sunday, we alternate. We have so much in common. We love doing pretty much the same thing. We have the same thoughts and everything. We be like, each other's sentences and <laughs> all we have to do is look at each other. We be like, yep. Jamie and I got married super duper young. We had children early. We were together for about 14 years, and then we separated about five years ago. And during that time, I was dating and things like that. Lacey and I met online. I knew exactly who he was and was actually a fan of his work. <laughs> Rise and shine, beautiful souls. I use my platforms to teach and enlighten the world. Raise your vibration, raise your energy. And we just kind of been like glue ever since. I have not previously had a poly relationship. Francis will right. be done in a minute. We'll let you know when it's done. No problem. I wasn't sure if I could come in behind another woman, but Kevin was separated, so I got to meet him as an individual, not as a pair. I got to fall in love with him on my own. Y'all ready to eat? So we started this poly union as three individuals. And me not having biological children, I was just like, yes, those are the type of children I wanted. Rise and shine, beautiful souls. Rise and shine, beautiful souls. So listen. I'm this world-renowned motivational speaker. When I became Polly, it was like, you know what? I want to use my relationship and my family to continue to enlighten the world. Often people who are happy cannot wait to tell somebody about it. That's actually why I went public. Wow. Most ridiculous question is, y'all must lack self-love. We experience judgment in all facets of our life, simply because we live our lives unapologetically. We get it on social media. We get it when we walk down the street. And we can see parents cover their children's eyes. Here is a photo of Jamie and Lacey. To me, I feel like you should see beauty. But if you go to the comments, you will find people who don't see beauty. They actually see something else. See, look here, this is crazy. This is someone commenting on here to say he really loves her more than the first wife. Uh, someone actually sent a comment yesterday to Jamie saying, listen, Jamie, you are beautiful, but he does not love you. Why don't you just leave? I get judgment mostly on social media because I'm looked at as the person who couldn't let go, even though we were separated for many, many years. Sometimes, People forget that you're you're a human and they just feel like they can say whatever they want. I understand, yeah, we put our life out there. People have so much focus around the three of us that they forget that we're a family. There are children that are part of this family. So my children has adapted to this dynamic very quickly. They adapted faster than I did. So how did you feel when you first found out about Lacey coming into your life? I was nervous. I didn't really social interaction, you know. But um, I got I've gotten used to her over the um, months. Oh, when I found out about Lacey, I was fine with it. Having someone new around the house, a little uncomfortable, but nothing stood out. I had this friend come over, and like he didn't really like understand. So I was trying to tell him that there's my mom, and then my dad and there's Lacey. I don't know if he got it, but. Uh, there are a lot of positives and negatives about having a third par uh, parental figure, 
but it wasn't really an issue for us. We were all very independent before and we're very independent now. Would you see yourself <laughs> in a polygamous relationship at some point in your life? I probably wouldn't. Because I prefer monogamy. For me, I, I would rather just have like like one one person to myself, basically. <laughs> <laughs> So Monday, Tuesday, uh, Jamie, mm -hmm. you have any, you have anything you want to do on those days? I was thinking of a, a fun day. You know, those two days is your world. So I you know. Down. People ask, do you deal with jealousy? Absolutely. Kev gives Jamie flowers. I mm -hmm. might look and go, where are my flowers? Then I have mm -hmm. to check myself and go, Lacey, you don't even like flowers. Mm -hmm. She gets flowers, I get chocolate. And we're both happy. So let's end this meeting on Rise. On, hey. on three. Rise right. on three. Right. One, two, three. Rise! Would I add another person to this dynamic? Absolutely not. I am 100% satisfied. I'm, this, is, this is everything. Um, Ditto. How would you feel if Jamie wanted to open up the relationship and like introduce a boyfriend? I get this question a lot. All of that was on the table. Mm -hmm. And they both said, we do not want anyone else but you. I'm not looking for another male figure at all. He's everything to me. When you're fulfilled, you don't look for anything else. Mm -hmm. ah! They're going to go their way for a moment. Love <laughs> is a commitment. What we want to do is like kind of show the world what a family really can do in this world. <gasps> but we can't let that. him go without giving him a bite. Oh. Oh.